Aboriginal TV, Channel 4. Putting Aboriginal news first. The NAIDOC 2019 theme, Voice, Treaty, Truth, has been strongly supported throughout NAIDOC Week and the NAIDOC March through the city of Darwin was no exception, with a NAIDOC record 5,000 strong crowd taking part. <laughs> The NAIDOC March celebration started at Civic Park in Darwin City Centre for a free breakfast while sharing stories, friendship and support. A first for this year's NAIDOC March was the provision of electric carts to carry elders at the head of the NAIDOC procession for the special live broadcast from Larrakia Radio playing over the speaker system. I love the music, I love the people and I just love NAIDOC week. What a wonderful week it's been. Voice, Treaty, Truth. The 5,000 strong procession made its way through the Smith Street Mall, down Nucky Street, then onto the Esplanade for speeches and calls to support and uphold the NAIDOC theme of Voice, Treaty, Truth. We have our leaders, and it's not just the Larrakia or the Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander, it is all Australians, because you and yourself can be a leader to determine the future. And we have had that call out for referendum again and treaty. And right now what we're doing here today is an action, it's not talking. And when we talk about voice, treaty, truth, I want you to carry that with you every day of your life and be proud to live on Darwin. Be proud to be Territorian. Be proud to be Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander and be proud to be Australian because that's how we should live, all as one, one community. When we're one community, doesn't matter where you come from. Dancers from the One Mob Different Country Dancers and Upaipuri Torres Strait Islander Dance Troupe mark the ceremonial aspect of the occasion, while local business and community groups showed their support with free food and refreshments at the many stalls around Bicentennial Park. The event was closed with a traditional Larrakia smoking ceremony. NAIDOC 2019. Voice, Treaty, Truth. Aboriginal TV, Channel 4. Putting Aboriginal news first.